switch it up a little bit today and talk to my fellow photographers because I've been getting a lot of questions recently about the things that I've implemented into my own business to help it grow, and then also strategies that I recommend to photographers who are just getting started. There are a million and one things that you can do and need to do when you are starting your photography business, but the number one thing that I recommend to people who really want to see a lot of growth in their business is determining where they want to specialize and finding where their niche is. What this means is choosing the type of photography that you love the most and then going completely and totally all in on that category, determining who your ideal client is going to be, and then building your business around serving that market, which I totally understand that this can be really intimidating, especially if you just picked up your camera or you've only been taking photos for a couple of months and you're really trying to get experience and also understand what you do like to photograph. And trust me, when I first started my business, I was literally photographing everything. If somebody asked me to take their photo, I was going to say yes. Babies, families, seniors, birthday parties, anniversaries, events, you name it, I was going to photograph it. And originally, when I decided that my heart really lived with the season of life that seniors were in and also being a part of the big wedding event, it was really hard for me to say no to people. But as I was trying to manage all of these different types of photography, because let's face it, photographing a newborn is very different from photographing a family, which is also different from photographing a senior girl. And I started to realize that running in all of these different directions was completely taking a toll on me. And if I was running myself ragged, then I wasn't going to be able to serve any of my clients well. I found myself having the conversation lately with new photographers or photographers who are looking to grow about this idea of specializing and finding a niche and really only photographing one or two things that you really love and that you know really, really well. But it can also feel really overwhelming and maybe you're not sure if specializing is even really for you or you have no idea what to specialize or when you actually wanna to get to that point. But I really encourage you to dig deep, figure out what your niche is going to be, figure out what makes you happy, and then define that ideal client and go after them. Because here's what happened when I started specializing. First, I stopped stressing about responding to potential clients. When I knew that I only wanted to focus on seniors and weddings, I wasn't running around every single time somebody reached out to me about something that I didn't have a package for trying to figure out what that pricing was going to look like and what types of photos they needed and how long was it going to take me to edit it and how long did you need me there at your event. I wasn't worried about what they were expecting and making sure that I was rising to the occasion and meeting all of those expectations or if I had the right equipment and if I could actually do my best at that job. When I narrowed myself down and knew exactly what I wanted to deliver to each one of my clients, all of that stress went away and I felt a lot happier in my own business, which in turn let me serve my clients better. The second thing that happened was that I started to have repeatable processes. And when I say repeatable processes, I'm talking about, I know exactly what happens when someone reaches out to me for senior photos or for their wedding date. I have all of my email templates. I have questionnaires built. I know what questions I need to ask from them before the big day so that that way I can have all of the information I need to be able to serve them well. And now I know that I can confidently get all of my clients what they need and what they want and then also what they didn't even know they needed or wanted. With my repeatable systems and processes, I know that everybody's going to go through the same process. They're going to receive the same emails. And so I don't have to worry about people going back and comparing their experiences. And then the third thing that happened is that I became an expert. So of course, when you do something over and over and over again, you start to learn a lot of different things that people who have only done it once or twice don't necessarily know. So now I'm able to anticipate all of these little things that happen during sessions and educate my clients before they ever even show up because I'm shooting multiple seniors and multiple weddings a week. And honestly, that is priceless to clients. To have somebody who they have complete trust in and they know is going to be able to think of everything that they're not going to be able to think of. And that's when people truly feel like they've gotten the best experience from you, regardless of how the photos actually look or what actually happened during the day. And also, by the way, this is the thing that lets you charge expert prices. 
So I know it's hard when you are starting out and you're trying to decide what you like and don't like, especially when you haven't even had a chance to photograph all of those things. Here are some questions that you can ask yourself when you are trying to figure out what your niche is going to be, because I promise you that when you are able to become an expert and have repeatable processes and not worry about trying to figure out all of the little details for all of these different types of photography, your life is going to be better and turn, you're gonna be able to serve your clients better. Okay, so here's the action items. If you're struggling with figuring out what your specialty should be, here are some questions that I want you to ask yourself. What do you love shooting the most and what brings you the most joy? Which I know that those questions are probably expected, but really dig into the types of people that you connect with and the seasons of life that you really enjoy and wanna make sure are remembered for people. And that can really help you figure out what types of clients you wanna serve. Next, think about what you are naturally best at. What are you best at when it comes to communicating, to posing, to figuring out what is actually needed in that situation? For example, I love working with high school senior girls because I love that season of life. I feel like I connect with them really easily and I know what they want to see when it comes to their photos. I wasn't always that way, but I also knew when I was getting started that I was much more naturally drawn to that than I was to babies, for example, or families with small children. So I would think about the things that come to you most naturally because those are probably gonna be the ones that you're going to already be really good at. And then you can run headfirst in that direction, figure out all of the small little details, and then it'll kind of be the best of both worlds. And then another way to think about it is looking at the things that bring you the most excitement and then also the things that really stress you out and bring you anxiety. So when I used to have couples reach out to me about engagement sessions, I was pumped. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And even though I was a little bit nervous about actually photographing them in the beginning, I knew that this was going to be something that I could get really behind. But when I had people reach out to me about their birthday parties and events, I was kind of nervous. I just didn't really know if I had the equipment. Same things that I talked about before. And I knew that that wasn't something that I wanted to pursue because of the amount of stress that it brought on me. Deciding what you want to specialize in and who your ideal client is, is not something that you're probably going to be able to figure out overnight. But thinking about these questions and really analyzing your past experiences and thinking about what truly makes you happy is going to be a really good start to figuring out what direction you actually want your business to go in. And I promise you that not only is it going to make your clients so much happier and feel really, really good about their experience, it's also going to relieve a lot of stress and make you really fall in love with your business. There are a million things that I could talk about when it comes to finding your niche and specializing. So if this is a topic that you want to know more about, make sure to let me know by liking this video or leaving a comment below. And I would love to talk to you about your business or even dig a little bit deeper into some of the areas of my own. And then of course, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure to click the subscribe button so that that way you can get updates every time I post a video. And if you are interested in educational topics, you can head to my blog where I have a section just for photographers where I talk about the ins and outs of my business. All right, bye guys.